-hmm. I think he is just so hurt still and just processing a lot slower. But I've been like, I don't know. I think so. I believe on an episode that Cody said that he didn't understand the rush, the hostility, you know, feeling that he was backstabbed during the split. Did you feel like this was a rush decision? And do you think that you blindsided him? So, uh, no, 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 not in any of it. No, I'm not going to be responsible for how he feels about everything. You know, I'm, I firmly believe that it was the perfect time. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought about it for so long and he knew about it for a good year. And he's also super smart and he knows that it's been coming for a while, you know, yeah. no shock. What did, what did you think of Cody calling for patriarchy after you announced your split from the other wives? I was super grateful that I decided to leave yeah. <laughs> and that it doesn't really apply to me at all. And it's so shocking and surprising because he's not like that. He's not really, I mean, he, back in Vegas, he was like, if you ever want to leave, we'll figure out a way for you to leave peacefully, you know? And so we can still like get together with the kids and things like that. Cause at that point, all of our kids were young and still living in the house. And so um, when he said the call to the part, I think he's just hurting. I think that he's just angry and, and he's processing all of this a lot different than I am because I've been processing leaving constantly, you know, for a year, I knew for sure, but for two years, definitely, I knew that I'd be leaving. Mm -hmm. And you had those conversations with him over the course of those two years? Well, the last year, for sure, we yeah. definitely had the conversations before that it was like, I just don't think this is working and we'd get together and you know, oh my gosh, come on, we could just tell there really wasn't anything there anymore, you know, and my kids saw it and they noticed and they yeah, they could tell something was wrong as well. So it was just a really, I, not that you can ever have a perfect time to leave, but I, I left before we got too angry and we were fighting. You know, I left before that point. Um, I didn't want that to be part of it. And if I'd left him before, maybe I would have left in anger too much too. So I didn't want to leave in anger. Do you feel like he's still angry with the decision that you made? So... <sighs> I haven't talked to him in person for a while. All I've seen are the episodes for a while. And what I've heard from like Janelle, who still speaks with him and stuff too. And I think so. I think he is just so hurt still and just processing a lot slower. But I've been like, I don't know, I think so. Yeah. What's your, like you said, you haven't spoken to him in a while. So what's your relationship like with him now? What's co-parenting like? Sure. Well, I spoke to him on the phone just briefly, like truly one student of the month in her school. And so I called him and told him, you know, I sent him a picture and, and told him, you know, that she won student of the month. And so um, he, so he knew that he would, you know, so he called her and congratulated her. And then there was another time where we were going to Flagstaff. And so he called and um, or I called and talked to him about, you know, getting together with Truly. So it's like that. So we communicate like that. But yeah, I don't think it's co-parenting quite yet. But we, you know, communicate back and forth. What was his, how did he react when you told Truly about the split without him? You know, I... I'm trying to remember how he reacted and he was frustrated that it happened like it did because she just overheard a conversation. I think I was more devastated than he was about how she found out. Honestly, uh, when he came over and spoke with her the next day, she had already kind of processed that we were getting a divorce and already processed that um, we were moving and was super sad about the move. But the divorce was kind of like, well, it's already done because, you know, I didn't know at one point we would be divorced. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what was frustrating for Cody too, was that I just decided we were divorced because there's no legal paperwork or anything like that for us. So I just told Truly we were already divorced because I didn't want her to be strung along and think that maybe we'd get back together again and, and her to worry about, are we going to be fighting around her? Because that was her biggest concern. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, she's like, are you guys gonna be fighting after? And I'm like, no, we're just not going to. I'm not, I'm not that person, I'm not gonna sit there and fight. Are your kids happy that you're happier? Oh yeah, yeah. I have 100% approval of my kids. Yeah, that's great. they all see that I'm much happier now and I'm accessible to them. And I live five minutes from Aspen and a half an hour from McKelty and I see them all the time. So they all love it we love it. Yeah, are you dating? <laughs> um, just casually, 
just yeah. casual dating. I'm not in the mood for any kind of a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. And so just like, you know, one or two, but that's one or two dates per person is all I'm gonna allow right now. <laughs> has, that so, been, has that been strange for you or exciting? A little bit of both? A little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both, definitely. Um, for the most part, just I think that just keeping it casual, I'm blushing, it's, it's such a funny topic to talk about. Um, I just want it kept casual. I really just like being me hmm. more than anything and keeping everything just like, it's more like friends or just keeping everything friend. I don't want a romantic relationship right now. Okay. That's not, I'm not interested in that. I just like the idea of friends and things like that. Do you want to get married again? And do you want to be in a, a poly relationship or are you more of a, a monogamous relationship now? I would definitely love to get married again and definitely only monogamy.